Today's nighttime episode is sponsored by ICX Media. That's our favorite software that uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to help out YouTube channels. And that's not just because we're part of the crew that got to hop on there and test that stuff out. Custom link is below to sign up and be ballers like us on YouTube. Do it or don't. I do care. <laughs> Today, new bread from Subway on a meatball sub. Okay. One foot long meatball marinara sub with the new ultimate garlic cheesy bread bread. It's a mouthful, let's get a mouthful. Acquired jump cut. Sean and Corey, why do you keep going to Subway even though you don't really rate it very high? Views. <laughs> Just kidding. JK, JK. Is there any reason to show a second angle? Uh, just out of like, to keep our format would be the only reason, I suppose. Corey Wagner, second angle, go. I do like the fact that they've and now added a sticker with a tab to the sandwich. That's yeah, kind of that's a cool, cool new I like that you, addition. You like used the, the word branding. sandwich, had so many syllables. Sandwich. Yeah, I prefer to add syllables to all my words. I like the new symbol, it's fairly new. It, it is nowhere at all related to like child touching, which I think is a good pivot on their part. Especially when I'm talking to kids. Whoa, this thing's leaking, and has they added tinfoil to their game. Wow. Smells a little more pungent, but I think I like it. Uh, bread is interesting looking. I'll bring it a little over to you. It's a little soft on the bottom. Um, and that's the inside of it. We kind of load her up. Uh, it's a little messy. You got bell peppers, green peppers, parmesan, meatball subs, onions, and uh, provolone cheese. Yeah, it's not pretty, especially at night. I think pretty. Do you want to take this uh, tin foil? You can't use the tray. Watch me. <laughs> Whip. Gosh darn. I'm excited to see if this bread is any good. It has no real sign that it's different. No. Do you feel the bottom feeling a little Sog, st uh, sog City, dude? Yeah, Sog City. Oh, God. I'm this is a right trash here. fuck. All right, Meatball Marinara, Ultimate Garlic Cheesy Bread Subway. Cheers. Cheers. The bread is like not even toasted. Mm. I watched him toast it. It's so soggy. Yeah. I mean, I love. Are you getting the garlic? I am, I think. Oh, yeah, I taste this, like the taste of it. You know what I mean? It's just, it sucks because this bread is supposed to be like crispy. Mm hmm. Look at this. I'm just taking part. Flavor's pretty cool. I think the bread's good. <laughs> I'm just testing it. I was telling Corey inside, I haven't had a meatball marinara from Subway in a long time. And it's really, it's one of their better sandwiches. It's gotta oh, be, right? It's at least very consistent. Yeah. You know what you're getting, you know it's gonna be all right. What do you use, provolone cheese in this? Mm-hmm. The meatballs are good. I'm like Tom, this has been one of my go-tos. When you go to Subway. I've gotten this a lot. It has not been 15 years for me. Mm -hmm. Especially, I used to go to this one particularly because I live so close. Right. When I was in college and I was getting more Subway to save money and it was a lot of food, I would get the Italian BMT on Italian herbs and cheese. So stupid. What was your guys' go-to? Even if you don't eat Subway anymore, what was your go-to? So easy. There's only a couple answers and that yours is not one of them. Yes, it is. The Italian BMT is one of their best sandwiches. Meatball sub, okay. chicken teriyaki, mm -hmm. and buffalo chicken. Those are the only three subs you should ever be getting. If you get anything else, I personally think you're kind of a dunce. <laughs> so you're always a hot sub guy, though. See, I like a cold sub, right? Oh, yeah, duh. Like, Italian BMT is really good warmed up, but I like a nice cold, like, Bro, Italian sandwich. Bro, even worse. Hey, man, I'm telling you. If you go to the Subway and you buy a cold sandwich, then why don't you just go to the store and buy bread and meat? I don't, like, go out of my way to get something. you know how long like, it, it takes to make a cold sandwich? But you, here's what I'd have to do. I'd have to buy pepperoni, salami, ham, jalapenos, banana peppers, like, all those things. I'm not going to, like, buy all that and then just always make pepperoni and salami Look, sandwiches. I know. I want that once a month. I know the trick as well as you do, that just because you say things slowly, doesn't mean it's actually a lot of things. You could buy those things at a grocery store in like three minutes. Not for five. It would take you nothing. Yeah, it would. Then you gotta go home oh, and make it. So, uh, am I supposed to make, get bread that's like loaves of bread? That's what I'm saying. That the, making a cold sandwich, there's no work towards it. A cold meat sandwich, you grab the meat, you place the meat on the bread, you're done. It's like one of the easiest things you can do. Right. Meatballs, you have to cook, right? Anything right. you gotta cook, the chicken ones, the hot mm -hmm. ones, you have to cook, bro. Hey, man. You do what you wanna do, man. We also don't really go to Subway anymore, so it doesn't matter. 
It's not a problem I'm dealing with currently. Mmm. You didn't care for the bread, huh? It's okay. I just wish it was toasted more. But the flavor is okay, though. Well, the end is a little crispy. It does taste like garlic bread. You know what I think? It doesn't get very... You get a little butteriness to it. It's got a butteriness. There is good garlic in it. I don't taste a real, like, cheesiness of the bread. Mm -mm. But that's also hard to do. I think butter sogs up that bread. It makes it difficult to toast it. Okay. I can see that. That's my hypothesize. What's your hot take? Hot take. You only got cold takes. So I know, I got cold takes. I don't got hot takes. You know, whoa. Oh. Bet, you bet you didn't know the old, you? the old cruise had an alarm, did you? That's your alarm? It <laughs> <laughs> really scares <laughs> them off. <laughs> you know what I love more than Subway bread? The Patreon members of our show. Oh man, boy do I like those human beings. Patreon, Patreon shout, shout out, Patreon, Patreon shout out, Patreon, Patreon, Patreon shout, shout out. out. Two people that donate to this show every single month. Absolute saints. Drew Breezes, if you will. The Drew Breezes of our community. Two of the most important people in my life, two of the people that we're probably most responsible. Up first, you little sneaky son of a gun, just Scott. We want to thank Scott. No last name. There might be more than one Scott, but the one who kept his little last name a secret. Humble. Humble, humble man. Great Scott. Name number two, Henrik D. Leeper. Love that name. Name of all names. Especially because the faster you say it, the more it kind of sounds like a rap name. Like Henrik D. Leeper. Henrik D. Leeper. Like, like, yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah. It's Henrik D. Leeper. You know how rappers now, like, well, for a while, they like to say their name at the start of songs so people know. Mm hmm. Mike Will made it. That'd be like, Henrik de Leeper. He'd like Henrik yell. Henrik Yeah, it'd be like all the rappers kind of announcing that they're in this song. That's how he'd say it. Don't forget Henrik de Leeper. Henrik, if you are a rapper, comment below your SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah. And we'll pin it. Out of five rapper chains, how many rapper chains do you give the ultimate garlic cheesy bread from Subway? The bread. The bread. We're rating the bread. Boom. One. Mainly because I would never get that again. There's not a lot of things that are like rateable comparative to the bread. So I can yeah. only hold it up against the other bread and there can only be one in the Subway community. There's not breads that I'm jumping in between. It's kind of a Highlander situation and I gotta go with the Italian Urban Cheese, of yeah, course. That's the only one to get. So it's either a yes or a no. It's a super binary question to me. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is a no. So I'm giving it a super low score. And if you are Thanks. somebody who gets hot subs and it doesn't toast well, then then it's really bad. True that's have been, and maybe it is our subway, but whatever. I'm going based off of the experience that I had. And I doubt gonna, it's our subway because it's just a machine that's yeah, on a timer. And, and you, you hit the button, you set it, you forget it, you pull it out when it's going beep, beep, beep. And then they ask what you want it. Uh, one. I'm going to go with that same score of one. One out of five. One out of five. Which, but more so the answer that you're looking for is no. If you're an Italian herbs and cheese fan, get Italian herbs and cheese. That bread has way more flavor. And if you like any of the other breads, then you're wrong. Check out ICX Media from the link below. Sign up if you're a YouTuber and you just want your numbers to grow based on actually knowing what you're looking at. That's, that's what they're going to help you do. That's right. And before he cuts my neck with that key, I'm going to sign this video off so he doesn't go to prison. <laughs> you notice how I always edit out your burps? <laughs> you do? Today Sweet. I don't.